Hello guys, thank you for joining us. My name is Radovan and I'm sitting here with my colleague Ram. We are both engineers here in Maislik Propolis. And today we would like to introduce our uh, dynamic trust calculator. Uh, it's available for free at, and it's for uh, fixed uh, wing propellers. Uh, our dynamic trust calculator is based on the simulated data of our two-bladed gas engine propellers. Uh, the calculator uses interpolation and extrapolation to estimate uh, the performance of the propeller. Uh, we have prepared for you a short case study, mm -hmm. uh, which will help you to understand how to work with this calculator. Yeah, so um, so first thing you need is the drag of the aircraft. Um, if you don't know the drag of the aircraft, you can uh, assume some lift by drag ratio. Uh, and if you know the takeoff weight, you can uh, calculate some approximate drag. Uh, so for this use case, we can assume that the drag of the aircraft is 30 newtons uh, at 26 uh, meter per second uh, when it when it's cruising at 26 meter per second, and it's flying at an altitude where there's the air density of 0 0.9 kilograms per meter cube. Yeah. Our uh, the dynamic trust calculator is simple Excel file. It looks like this. Uh, here in input section, you can uh, change the diameter. Uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, pitch, uh, the air density, uh, the drag uh, of the aircraft, and the airspeed. Uh, once you uh, input this data, the calculator calculator will estimate the the performance of the propeller. So you can see the operating RPM, uh, propeller efficiency, and the uh, required mechanical power. We have created this, this simple table uh, to show you how the pitch uh, of the propeller influence the efficiency of the propeller. So you can see that uh, with increasing pitch, uh, the, the propeller efficiency increases as well. Yeah, um, as you saw in the previous slide, you can you can always change the pitch and then get the performance of the prop. Uh, so it's it's okay if you want to do for two or three props, but if you want to understand the trend, you can also input a list of props. Uh, you can uh, do it up to like 500 props. Uh, you can enter the diameter and pitch here in these two areas. Um, you can also use some kind of formula, like uh, you can you can also say it should be 0 0.5. So and and we can actually drag it, and you can create a list of props uh, where you can where you want to uh, calculate the performance. Uh, there are some limitations. So the pitch by diameter ratio should not be greater than one, and should not be less than 0 0.3. But most of the props uh, operate within this pitch by diameter ratio, so yeah, I think this 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 range is uh, already sufficient. Uh, and and the drag of the aircraft should be at least five newtons. It, should, it cannot be lower because the simulation is not uh, so accurate at very low advance ratio. And the max maximum speed that you can uh, enter is 150 meter per second. And you can only calculate the um, performance of two blades propellers at the moment. Um, yeah. And uh, the aircraft uh, does not only cruise, it should, it also, it has many phases like takeoff, climb, cruise, and then land. So you can, if you have the value for climb, you can, you can also put in a secondary point for calculation. So you can enter the drag. Using uh, climbing speed and the air density into the calculator here uh, at these points, uh, and then if you click two points, first the um, calculator will calculate the performance for the main point. After it finishes uh, this, and then it will change the um, 
value to the secondary point and then again it goes through the whole list and it will show you the results of uh, every single pop at both the points. Yeah, once you uh, let the calculator calculate all these performance, you, you will have the data in group calls results section when you can see the data for primary point and even for secondary point for particular purpose. So uh, you, you can use this data to post process it or you can go to graph section where you can actually see uh, how does these parameters influence the, the proper uh, performance. So for example, here uh, you can see how the pitch to damage diameter ratio influence the uh, propeller efficiency because with increasing uh, pitch to diameter ratio the propeller efficiency is increasing uh, so the mechanical power mechanical power is decreasing here in this graph each dot uh, represent uh, one single propeller Uh, there are some additional features in this uh, calculator. You can uh, input um, you can you can input the uh, I not current and uh, resistance of the resistance and KV of the electric motor, uh, and you can get the uh, efficiency of the motor and the electrical power for uh, this motor at the particular operating point. Uh, and you can also, if you want the performance of the propeller, you have the whole performance of the propeller. You can use it for post-processing or uh, you can use it uh, to give it to the motor manufacturer to manufacture a uh, particular like optimized motor for this propeller performance. Uh, so, Yeah. So uh, since we calculate the electrical power based on uh, this um, uh, motor constant, uh, here you can here you can see we already saw that the higher pitch by diameter ratio will give you more efficiency. But when we consider the electrical power, when we when we see the electrical power, you can see that after if the if the pitch by diameter is Create more than 0.6. There's not much of increase in efficiency uh, in terms of electrical power. Uh, so, and 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 you can see in the client section, uh, the lower P by D has lower power consumption. So, um, and here you can see like lower uh, operating RPM. It's the motor efficiency is bad, and lower operating RPM and the propeller efficiency is good. So. Um, so if you want to find the most optimum prop, uh, you have to find the sweet spot between these two graphs and uh, find where you want to operate it. Uh, the, the main goal of this our calculator is to help you to find the closest uh, of the shelf solution uh, of the shelf propeller. Uh, especially at the early stage uh, of your prototyping. So this calculator should uh, help you to understand the mechanical power consumption, operating RPM required uh, torque, and you can use it even for rough calculation of, of your flight time. Uh, as we already mentioned, this uh, calculator is based on simulated data. We intend to replace this data with uh, wind tunnel measurements uh, to make it even more precise. And we also intend to extend this calculator with our um, electric propellers for fixed wing UAVs. Uh, this calculator is available for free Mm, on our website in technical section. Uh, if you have any question, please let us know and contact us on our email. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day. Bye.